Doctor, you're a naturopathic oncologist, you obviously deal with cancer. Do we have today a decent grasp of what causes that? Well, you know, that is actually a very interesting question, what causes cancer. I think that our understanding is evolving, but there's really two primary theories of cancer causation. One group looks at the cause of cancer as events that happen inside the cell, so aberrations of genetics, essentially, or genetic expression. And then there's another camp which looks at the milieu around the cell and um, the influences that in turn change the behavior of the cell. The truth, I think, is actually a combination of both of those theories, so that what we know now about cancer causation is that cancer seems to be a result of both uh, perhaps some inherited genetic susceptibilities, although that in reality only accounts for up to maybe 10% of all mm. cancers, but more acquired genetic expression changes, um, and the environment, the cellular environment, uh, in, or the, the tissue environment around the cell, and some of the things that we do throughout our life that change that environment. So that's where lifestyle becomes a really important factor in cancer causation, and it's really the combination of those two things mm. that tend to create that opportunity for a cell to start to gain characteristics that make it behave abnormally and ultimately malignantly. Mm -hmm. Along the same lines, why is the location of cancer different? Is, can that be explained yet? Why does somebody get brain cancer? Someone else is in the lung, it's in the breast, the ovaries. I mean, you know, how, do we have an idea of that yet? You know, that, that's also a good question. There was a very controversial article that was published this year that looked at that very question, and their uh, conclusion was that it was really a, a chance happening. Mm. Um, that conclusion was really countered by a lot of other researchers who said, no, it's not chance. It has a lot to do with lifestyle and how we live. And I think that, again, the truth is really a combination of both those things in actuality. You know, what um, actually initiates cancer in a certain organ is difficult to determine, but I feel has a lot to do with what uh, a certain population of cells called stem cells. Mm -hmm. And stem cells are dedicated to regrow tissues or regrow cells within certain organ spaces. So stem cells in your liver are going to regrow liver tissue, not arm tissue or eye tissue or whatever. And so when an aberration happens in that stem cell is when I think a lot of cancers begin and so it then would take place in that organ. Now why does that happen to that stem cell and not another? I don't know, you know, I, don't, I think that they're, um, the most common cancers are epithelial type of cancers, the colon, the breast, the prostate, the lung, and those are tissues that are exposed to a lot more environmental influences. Um, they also, especially breast and prostate, have a lot of fat in the organ itself, which accumulates, say, environmental toxins. So I think that there's, you know, that's maybe why those cancers are more common. Sure. So, that, so you know, it's probably kind of local sort of environmental mm -hmm. factors and, frankly, probably some element of, of genetic happenstance. Mm -hmm.